Hey everybody, it's David here. I'm the owner of this channel's brother, so I'm going to start out by... I'm going to be making a new um, series on this channel about Dark Souls. I know Dark Souls is a bit old now, but hey, still a good game in my opinion. One of the best games, at least one of the best I've ever played. Now, we're going to... I'm going to start this series off by explaining the differences between the, uh, by explaining the differences in, um, basically in the starting classes. Uh, always take a master key with you, unless you're a thief, in which case you have more freedom here. Uh, doesn't matter, let's go with you. Except, alrighty then. Now I'm going to explain his armor and his weapons uh, in this video. This is just going to be the warrior one. In the next one, I'll do the next one, etc, etc. I'm going to do a few other ones. Uh, interesting fact about the starting Very weapon, the, broke, uh, the straight sword hilt. It's a unique weapon. You can only get it once per any, ga uh, any playthrough. You can never get it in another playthrough. Um, you only get it once per game, per character. So, it's a good idea to just keep on you. Doesn't do much. Barely does any damage. In fact, uh, the knight, I think it is, starting class, deals more damage with its fist than it does with this. But still. Interesting weapon, nonetheless. I think it's cool that they gave you access to such a strange weapon that's early in the game. Um. Alright, once you've done that... Going to rest yeah, at the bonfire. Uh, now I'm going to show off the armor first, and then I'm going to explain its stats. No, All right, let's get through here. And if you look up at the top real fast, you can see the buddy we're about to be fighting, uh, the Asylum Demon, and he's wielding the Demon's Great Hammer, yeah, is which is made from an arch tree. Which I might do a lore video later, explaining the arch trees. But, uh, for the time being, uh, if you see, the sword does barely any damage against this guy. In fact, I'm going to test out my fist. My fist do the same amount of damage. In fact, let's just get rid of that. Now, as you see, I just totally missed that one and got hit. Alrighty then, now that I feel confident about that, let's just go through here. Door shuts behind us. Second bonfire, always good to rest at bonfires. Regenerate your health. And your Eskis flask. Now, if you remember, I took that off, so I'm gonna add it back on real fast. Okay, as soon as you enter here, you're gonna wanna go straight to your right, uh, left, my bad. Bitch! You're gonna get the heater shield. I'm gonna explain the stats of this thing at the same time I explain the stats of the armor. Same thing with the thing on the body right over here. Oh, well, missed him. Alright. Long sword. Pretty good sword. Alright. Now that we have that. Let's go kill this guy. What the fuck was that? No, what the fuck was that? Night night. What? Alright, now we're gonna go through this fog gate. And I'm right annoyed. here I'm gonna explain I'm the uh I'm armors and stuff. The, the armor has way. fourteen physical, eight magic, eight it says, it says fire, way. and eight uh, three lightning. It's an okay thing for early on in the game. Fine, keep doing that, you little bitch. Twenty six for this one. Uh, 13 physical for this one, 13 physical for this one. Okay, it's an okay thing. The heater shield has 100% uh, physical damage reduction, so it's a really good shield this early on in the game. Okay, now uh, the long sword has 80 uh, damage, so it is one of the best swords at the beginning of the game. I think it's the the best, the second best sword that has thrusting. Okay, now you're gonna run halfway up the stairs. Jump off like you just seen me did so that this boulder thing goes through here and breaks us. You could either talk to Oscar of Astora or you could kill him. I usually kill him because he comes back anyway in the next uh, time you visit. 
but he's as hollow next time. So if you want to hear his voice, this is the only time you can hear it. I can tell you but I really don't like it. Yeah, I don't know why. He's an okay character, but it pains no, me to see like, what they did like, to him after the beta so. version they cut out. Because he used to have a huge play in the game, but more on that in the lore video. Alright, now once you've done that and killed this guy, you're going to want to run through here. Now in a little bit, I'm going to be facing off against the demon I just showed you guys. Alrighty then, here we are right here. Now just keep your short shield up. Hey, hey, listen, the fuck out, the fuck keep up. your shield up. Just move past the archer. Stab him in the back or she do whatever you need to. Alright, now you don't have to enter here. Oh, and I would suggest new I'm characters don't. Because he's really, really strong. But if you're kind of good with a uh, rip pies. Or if you wanted to challenge yourself mm. uh, in a rip pies. Just try challenging right. him. Or another thing you could do is try beating him with your fist. Harder than it looks. Okay, as soon as you step through here, you're going to want to dual hand your weapon, and you want to do a plunging attack. If you did it right, uh, you should get somewhere between 300 and 500 damage to him. Now, just keep hitting the crap out of him. Keep minded of his attacks. Try to stay behind him. So, whatever way he faces the uh, his weapon, you're going to want to move. All right, now I'm going to let him in front of me real fast. Now, when he does that flying thing, that's when you're going to want to dual hand your weapon and hit him as many times as you possibly can as fast as you can. If you do it, and you keep doing it, and avoid his attacks, you should be able to kill him. He's a pretty easy character to kill all in all. Now, that humanity you just seem to get, there's a reason that I'm going to show you something about it. I'm just taking it off right now because I don't like using it this early on in the game. All right, now let's just keep going through here. Now, if you keep going up through here, you will go to the end of the game, and that is the, well, not the end of the game, what? to the end of this area, and that is the warrior class explanation. So, I'll see you guys with another explanation sometime really soon. Yeah. Bye, everybody.